hey y'all and welcome back to my channel my name is ashanti if this is your first time here if it's not your first time here welcome back and y'all today's video is going to be a story time about the time that i met the side chick y'all as i think back to this story it is so funny because y'all i used to be so soft i don't know why i used to let people think they could play with me but just know as i tell y'all this story the girl that i was back then is not who i am today like you're not gonna play with me today so just keep that in mind as I'm telling y'all this story because it is so funny now that I think back on it and like you ever think about like something that happened in the past and you be like all the signs was there. So yeah, <laughs> if y'all want to hear my story time on how I met the side chick then just keep on watching. Okay y'all, so I started dating this boy when I was 17 and I don't know why I liked him so much but um, he was a few years older than me and so I thought he was like a little bit more mature. He dressed nice and he was just like real nice at the beginning but y'all I'ma tell y'all, like, the dudes who y'all think is squares and who is, like, good boys, they be the most manipulative because they present themselves that way so, like, nobody believes or expects the things that they actually be doing, but y'all, they be the worst one because they sneaky. So I started dating this boy, like, when I was 17, about to turn 18. Y'all, I was head over heels, like, I used to brag on him, like, he do this, this, and this. And so, like, a few months had went by and my birthday's in February, his birthday is in June. So um, when his birthday came around, I was like, okay, like I wanna do like something nice for him. Like, so I made him this cute like little gift basket with like all the stuff that he likes. I bought him some new shoes, like some Nike socks, some cologne, and a bottle of the type of alcohol that he liked since he was turning 21. But like, I had to get somebody to buy it for me, but still. So I put the basket together and I meet him at his house because we were supposed to be going out with like his friends or whatever so i was gonna be meeting his friends for the first time and y'all i give him the gift basket one he was so awkward about it like he almost didn't even want to say thank you red flag number one so then um i'm downstairs like waiting for him to get dressed and he comes down he takes a picture of the gift basket but like i guess the first picture that he took like i was in the background of the picture so like you can kind of see me so he like turns the basket the basket sitting on the table in the in the living room so he turns the basket like facing a different direction so he can take the picture from a different angle i guess so i wouldn't be in the background red flag number two and he takes the picture of course i see it on his snapchat story because that's what he posted it to and he was like, uh, he posted a picture like with the bottle front and center talking about, uh, what did he say? Tonight about to be lit or a good start to my night. Something like that. Something having to do with the night. Like didn't say thank you. Like, and usually when somebody posts a gift that somebody gave them, they say like, at least thank you. But no, he was like finna get my night started off right. Whatever. So, uh, we get dressed and we getting ready to go we go to top golf and so we meet like a group of his friends there mind you i don't know none of them i didn't know nobody but him because i had like never met his friends before so we get there and it's like a handful of dudes and then it's like two it was two girls and then his sister i know his sister so me and his sister was like just kind of talking to each other the whole time but so when we get inside of top golf like him and the dudes they actually playing or whatever but me his sister and then the other two girls we just like sitting at the table uh me and his sister was like small talking i was mainly on my phone one of the girls like she finally decides to address me and she just like starts asking me all these weird questions like oh so how long have y'all been together and i'm like a few months but like she keep making these weird faces so i'm like why are you asking me these questions so then okay so that was the first question so the next question she asked was oh uh does he tell you he loves you i'm like what like i ain't never met somebody friend or family member and that's the kind of questions they ask in the first time y'all met so i'm like yo yeah, why wow. and she was like oh well i just think y'all are like so cute but she like i could tell like by the energy that she was giving out like she wasn't being genuine like she was trying to be funny about something but i just didn't know what so i'm like I don't say nothing. I just back back, get back to what I'm doing on my phone, minding my business. I ordered me some food and drinks on his tab. So I'm like, okay, whatever. She obviously not asking that for no reason, but I'm whatever. You here with your little friends. I'm finna stay to myself, eat my food when we go home. Um, whatever. The girl who was just asking the questions and the girl that she was sitting with, like they kept looking at me like, 
laughing and sniggling and giggling and me the kind of person that i am is if i feel like a female got animosity towards me i'm gonna ask you one time what your problem is but you're not gonna get loud with me you're not gonna talk to me disrespectfully because at that point the talking is over so i'm like i'm not even gonna ask because one i don't even know this girl like this i'm not gonna ruin this boy birthday i'm gonna just stay over here mind my business i'll ask about it later and that's, I mean, that's generally how I do everything. Like, if it's not the right time, the right place, I will wait. But best believe you're still going to get the same smoke you would have got initially. So we get back in the car after leaving Top Golf, And he was, like, asking me in the car, like, uh, how'd you like everybody? Like, were they nice to you? Da, da, da. I was like, yeah, whatever. That was cool. I was like, who is such and such? And he was like, oh, this is such and such a sister. So the girl was his best friend's sister. Apparently, they used to work together. They went to school together or whatever but she's a few years older than them so that kind of didn't make sense but he was like basically saying they work together probably a month or so had gone by it was still summertime and he's at my house and we had just got back to the house from the gym because he used to come down here we would go to the gym and then eat watch a movie whatever he got back home so that was all like little rituals so we get back from the gym and I saw when we first walked into my room, he stuck his phone under the pillow on my bed. But he must forgot that he put it there because he got up to go to the bathroom and like his phone started vibrating under the pillow. But like my uh, my bed was up against the wall at the time. So if the phone was vibrating, like you could hear it because it was up against the wall. Baby, when he heard that phone going off, he zoomed out that restroom. So he was like, where's my phone? Where's my phone? I was like, I don't know where you put it but i knew where he put it because i watched him put the the phone under the pillow so he started running through the house he all looked the hallway he back up in the bathroom trying to find his phone so i'm like okay he's too fidgety over not being able to find his phone so i'm finna take it and see what he's so nervous for so i grabbed the phone from under the pillow he come he bust in the room he was like i need your phone can i use your phone to call my phone i said here i handed him my phone and walked right on up out of here so he's sitting here he calling his phone trying to figure out like why why he don't hear it i put it on silent so i'm sitting there i said let me go to snapchat because snapchat was like more popular at the time and dudes really tried to use snapchat as their mo because they thought like okay everything disappeared after 24 hours i can get away with whatever but if the other person saves it in the conversation then it's there regardless of what you delete so i saw right before he had started uh right before he thought he lost his phone he was trying to show me a video on his phone that i guess he found on twitter or something so as he's showing me the video like this girl's like snapchat was like popping up like he had a snapchat notification and it had a girl's name on it and he kept like trying to hurry up and make it go away and then that was when he stuck the phone under the pillow or whatever. So I go to Snapchat, mind you, this girl's notifications was just popping up. And I go to his like, the conversation thread is gone. So I'm like, okay, he deleted it. I said, it's okay, I'm gonna search the girl's name because I remember what the name was. So I go look and I'm looking at the saved conversations and stuff. It's the same girl that was just asking me all these questions that topped off. So I'm like, okay like i'm reading through some of the conversations like y'all this boy had no this boy had no morals no standards no like no sense of respect he was sending this girl unsolicited news that she did not ask for and i read one of the conversations he sent her a picture a picture and she was like what is that for and he was like oh well you said on your story that you was feeling bad so i thought maybe this will make you feel better boy do you think you got the magic stick like oh somebody sent me a picture of their thing it didn't just make my whole situation go away like boy no who do you think you is first of all so i'm like okay like i'm, I'm still reading i'm just sitting here reading because i i'm like okay this is obviously why she had so many questions and like the kind of questions that she was asking this is obviously why so I come back in the room with his phone in my hand. I said, here you go. I called him the phone and he was like, uh, he was like, what's wrong with you? Nothing, but you finna get the hell up out of here. Of course I said it a little more room. So I'm like, okay, you, you finna get the f out. So he's like, why, what happened? I said, you sat here and introduced me to this girl as your friend and got her sitting up looking at me like I'm stupid cause you sitting up sending her dick pics. So 
He was like, who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? I'm like, dang, you sent out that many that you can't keep up with who you didn't send them to? So y'all, he had just bought me a dog, like probably like two or three months before. I took that dog cage, cause the dog was still little, so it was a little dog cage. Baby, I took that dog cage, I threw it across this room. I swear to God, I tried to take his head off with that dog cage. I said, you and this dog can get the fuck out. So y'all, I was a little hard, but I was still soft. So, even the dog left up out of here, and they was still, they was sitting out there in his car. I guess he was trying to call the dude that he brought the dog from, trying to see if he could take him the dog back. And so I go out the, talking about I'm finna check on him. So I go out the, Y'all, y'all know this dude didn't even have no remorse. He was like, you act like I really did something. All I did was send a couple of pics, so what? Oh, okay. You see no issue with what you doing, and then you gonna sit here and try to downplay it regardless of how it make me feel. So I was just like, okay. So, obviously you used to sitting up doing whatever and just lying to people and making them feel any kind of way, cause you literally treating this like it's not even a big deal. And then y'all, this was his response. I've had people do worse to me in past relationships, so you'll be fine. There's other situations that has happened, like where the girl was still involved, cause mind you, it's his best friend's sister and he's still best friends with that guy to this day. So like, I've seen the girl plenty of times since that happened and she has still never once came to me and said anything. Like she just be in my face smiling and laughing and I don't even like, I don't even fake and shake with her like that because you know what that went on behind my back and you still sitting up acting like nothing happened. Thank God I'm not in that situation no more. I got out of it. It took me to hit my head up against the wall a few more times, but I got out of it. So yes, girl, that is the story time on how I met the side chick. But yes, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.